Hi guys, Tracy, and I'm back with another video. And today, of course, we have co-host Mr. here. You know, a video is not a video without him. So today what I have for you is the battle of the facial hair removal tools, we shall call them. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I hope you take a second and hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you as a new subscriber. And if you're returning, welcome back. And everyone, don't forget to click the bell because YouTube is not notifying people when videos are being uploaded. So you want to click that you want all of the notifications, but you still might not get notified. So go ahead and follow me on Instagram. All my information, everything about me is listed in the description box. I have a PO box if you want to write to me. I have an email if you want to write to me. And I also have my Instagram account and I've been being really good about posting on my Instagram that a new video has gone up just so that you guys will know and yeah you can see mister I get you know what maybe I should be the co-host and he should be the actual youtuber maybe okay maybe okay so okay let's see if you want to know what's on my eyes today I have on the bad habit supernova palettes and my highlighter today is urban decay's sin and on my lips i have a nyx duo chromatic lip gloss and this is in gypsy dream it's like a shifting color so that is what is on my face and i posted a picture yesterday on instagram about this little gadget that I picked up so stay tuned at the end if you want to know what it is and how it worked and what I thought about it so okay right now in front of me I have four electrical type tools that need a battery and then just some little eyebrow trimmers face trimmers a bikini line trimmer whatever kind of trimmers and as you know I have tons of peach fuzz I even have dark hair that comes in on my chin and I, I'm horrible at picking. So I am always looking for something new, something that's gonna, you know, get rid of the hair easily, not irritate my skin and that kind of thing. So my first suggestion would be to get a mirror like this, especially if you have the hair that grows in along the chin. I have white hair that grows in and it's like super coarse and very, very thick. And sometimes those are really hard to get out. Like I'll be sitting and then I'm like, oh my God, there's a hair and I have to go get in my mirror. And my daughter asked me when I bought, a, I have two of these mirrors, one's in my bathroom. When I bought this and my other um, necessary item would be the tweezer man pointed tweezers. They get out almost every hair that you want to pluck they will get it out the smallest tiniest hairs they it's so good at getting them out and it's an investment because they are about 25 dollars but i've had mine for years you want to make sure though that you never drop them because once they drop and hit the floor the alignment is off on them but tweezer man does have a lifetime guarantee that you can mail them back to them. And the last time I sent back like five pairs of tweezers and they sharpened them, aligned them and sent them back to me. And that they do that free of charge. So they're a great investment to, to buy. So that those are my first two recommendations. A mirror with a super magnified side and a regular side because I use the magnified side my daughter was like why did you buy this mom that with those tweezers why did you get this this is terrible because she was then you know getting in the mirror just like me so i mean it's it's a necessary evil to me as far as removing facial hair so a good pair of tweezers a mirror with the magnified side to it and then I have some uh, facial tools here. I did a review on this little flawless finish. I think it's called a flawless finish um, little tool when it came out. Yeah, flawless. I, I This is one of my early, early, early videos, I believe. And it was bad. Yeah, it was, it was bad. So, but I left it up because 
it shows growth. So I don't know. I think I have, when I looked the other day, I had 154 videos so far and it's it's been a little bit over a year. So this was one of my, you know, earlier videos. And this is just a little device. It runs on batteries, has this little coil thing and you turn it on and you just move it in a circular motion and you can use it every day. You can use it, you know, if you down your neck and if you have a lot of peach fuzz like I do you want to get that off because it messes with your foundation when you're trying to put it on or or it, some like I tried a what was it one of my foundation reviews I can't remember what it was it was like a, Rev, was a Revlon color stay or something it was some foundation and I used that and it was so horrible I mean you could see every little teeny tiny piece of hair that was on my skin it was really bad so this is nice because like I said you can use it every day and I have seen these um, now popping up at Burlington so you can pick this up I think it's $14.99 at Burlington and they even have it in black now which is kind of nice and this is like super sleek you can have it on your vanity or whatever and no one's gonna know what it is if you you know don't want someone to know but it's nice you can use it you know like your mustache like I do you can use it like all over so that's one that I have and one the first facial little things that I ever had were these little ones this one is by finishing touch and I think this is yeah this one you can move and you can pick these up at Ross, TJ Maxx, Marshalls. There's so many different brands that make these. And this one has a, a little light on it. And the Finishing Touch one has a light too, I think. Yeah, it has a little light here. So it kind of lights up where you're trying to get the hair. It makes it easy to see it. And this one too, this one, you know, same kind of thing. You can just buzz all over your face and this one this is called revive beauty same little concept and these like i said these are the like some of the first facial hair removal tools that i bought and these ones work okay you know that i mean you can get like i i have peach fuzz like that grows on my cheek here and i can just buzz it off really quickly with these so those are nice too and then this is my newest acquisition and I had seen this when it first came out and it was about $40 I think and I was like Psh, I'm not buying that and this one's called yes and it's by finishing touch and I think this is one of the first like big brands that started this whole facial tool trend so this is by finishing touch and this is too this is called yes by finishing touch and this one is my favorite you can there, there's another head that you can put in here and I left it in the other room so you get two heads this one is rechargeable so you don't need batteries for this one and this one has like a foil this is the foil attachment which is used for like super tiny hairs and it also has a light in it and you once you push it down and see and it gets like all the fine little hairs. It like vibrates and I can just use it like, you know, anywhere. I, I try not to get too close to my hairline here, but this one is my favorite. And like I said, it has another head. You can use this on your face, your legs, your arms. I mean, and I got this at Burlington. This is $9.99 at Burlington. So they've had it, I, I just saw it the other day. I bought one, my daughter bought one, and we both really like it. So this would be my favorite, um, you know, one that's like rechargeable, which is even better than this one that you have to use batteries in. But this one I feel like gets more hair, more of the fuzz, it, because it, you know, covers a wider area. And I just think that this one removes the hair better. And you do, like I said, get two attachments and it's rechargeable so i this is my favorite one this is the one i use most these other ones just kind of sit you know in my bathroom and then the last little trimmer thingies are these um 
These are called eyebrow and bikini line trimmers, and then it says shaves facial hair and sensitive skin. Stainless steel, rust-free, safely shave eyebrows and bikini line with absolute precision. So you get three of these in this pack, and I picked this, these up at the 99 cent only store. That's where I always find these, and I continue to buy the, this pack. And what I like about these, let me open this up. I have a pack in my bathroom. I should have just brought the one that's open, but that's okay. So you, they come with this little cover so that you don't, I mean, you can't really cut yourself with them, but just like that. And what I like to use these for is I like to hold my skin taut and I can shave, just get the little hairs right around my eyebrows and on the outside here because I have eyebrows that grow like here and here, whether it's, I, I, I mean, and it fits nicely right down the center. But this is what I use these for is to just clean up because sometimes I don't always want to like pluck above here and I don't always go get my brows threaded or, and I never wax them. I do get them threaded once in a while, but I haven't even done that lately. So these work really well to just clean up. You gotta, you wanna hold your skin taut and then you can just get right up to, you know, and not take off too much. And like I said, I like to use it just down the center here. And I do even use it on my face. It's, um, you know, it's just like you can see the little blade and you just kind of hold your skin and it just takes off, you know, if you, so if this was the only thing you had, I do like these. I think they work really well. You can pick these up everywhere. This brand is a brand that I prefer though. And I don't know where else that you can buy these. I've only seen them in the 99 cent only store. So these are by select lash and like i said i've got these at the 99 cent only store i have not used them to uh trim my bikini area because let's face it i don't wear a bikini <laughs> but like i said they were really nice just to get right up close because sometimes you've got a lot of hair you don't want to sit there pluck 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 and it fits right there it cleans up nicely here it cleans up the peach fuzz like if i'm not if i'm feeling lazy and i'm just sitting in my bathroom at my stool i can just use this and it works great like i said you can if this was the only thing if i threw this in my bag and was gone for a week I could use this everywhere on my face and it does a really good, really good job. So for, you know, cheap tool, these are where it's at, three of them for a buck. So if you have a 99 cent only store, that, that's where I get them. Like I said, these are made by Select Lash. I'll see if they have a website and see, yeah, they do, UEO Core. I'll list their website in the, description bar along with the name and everything that what it's called and these are actually made in california in cerritos which is not that far away from me so 99 cent only store i went to um the dollar tree but i didn't see any in the dollar tree and i know these can be expensive they do sell similar type tools like this at burlington and you, I think they had like a five pack for like maybe $5, which is still, you know, a good deal. But I haven't tried those ones. I had tried some that were bigger before and I did not like those ones and I tossed them. These just seem to be the perfect size to really trim up the eyebrow mostly is what I use these for. And these are really, really nice. So if you can find these ones, these are good. And I will, like I said, try to, I'll list their website down below in case you want to check them out. So for, for cost effectiveness, this is the way to go for a dollar. And then for the electrical whatever type, this is my most favorite. This is the Yes by Finishing Touch. You can get this at Burlington for 10 bucks. And because it's rechargeable, I really like that, that I don't have to have batteries. And also that it has the two different kinds of heads on it. So this one is my most favorite right now, along with the trimmers that you just use by hand. So I hope that you guys found this helpful and that I helped you see the different types of facial hair removal tools. I mean, I know it's like, oh my God, you know, women and facial hair, 
let's face it, it happens. We, we have hair on our faces, some more than others. And I have not been <laughs> beyond being in the shower and shaving myself like I'm a man. And I've done that too. So if they say, oh, you shave your face, it all comes back darker and more and thicker. That is not true. I've been shaving, uh, I've shaved my face many, many times, and I've never had it grow back more or thicker or darker, any of that. So that is just fooey. If somebody tells you that, it's not true. It's just not. I've shaved myself, my neck, because I have lots of peach fuzz on my neck, and before all of these like little trimmers and devices came out, I would shave with a razor. And I know I had always heard, and even when I went in cosmetology school, you know, they tell you, oh, don't shave with a, a razor. It's not true. It works just fine. It gets the hair off. If you're in a pinch, it's not going to, you know, kill you. It's not going to make it grow back thicker and darker. And, you know, you're not going to get like some manly beard coming out of your face. So I have used a regular le leg shaver on my face as well. But for now, these are the two that I would really recommend. These for getting close to the eyebrows, and then this one for all over. Like I said, you can use it in your armpits, you can use it on your arms, your legs, you can use this one all over, and then, you know, like I said, it has another head that looks more like a razor. So, I hope that you guys found this helpful, and that if you were looking to find something that you wanted to try, I let you know some good options and Burlington, I, they, I've been finding a lot of good stuff at Burlington. So those are the facial hair trimming devices that I would recommend. And then I was at um, Burlington yesterday. I put a picture of this on my Instagram yesterday and I, I was in Burlington and I saw this and I was like, what the heck is that? It said facial nano steamer and I'm like, what? And so I, I was like, nah, it was the only one there. And I was like, eh. And then I backed my basket up and I picked it up and I started reading it and I'm looking at it. It was only $3.99. And I was like, oh, that sounds like that might be kind of cool. So it's a rechargeable device. And you take this back piece off here and you can put in your facial toner or water. I have um, the Mario Badescu stuff in there now and then you open it and this little steam it makes it like super super fine and you can put water in it or a toner and it just it will run for 30 seconds and then it'll shut off and I thought that was so cool because it just does such a fine mist on your face you're not squirting it and it's all coming out it's super fine you can see it and it just feels so refreshing and I thought it was so cool. $3.99 and it's even rechargeable. Comes with a little cord to recharge it. So I thought that was a pretty neat little gadget and for $3.99 I thought I would try it out and I actually like it so far. So that's going to do it for today's video guys. I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will catch you in my next one. Bye. <laughs>